Yeah, I know. Well, so it's, it's kind of, I, didn't, I didn't keep a list of attendance or like that Sunday school stuff, but I know that many of you, and I'm very thankful to have you here. Maybe you wonder like why we always have the same people at the sessions. Um, it, it's very important to me, it's almost become like a family that, um, as you know, our, our shows are kind of in liquid state. Um, today we were fortunate to actually have had the visual effects finished at least uh, 48 hours before the score. Many times they come in the day of the score, so when we're like moving stuff around, I'm saying make the Klingon theme go over here. And, like at least everybody here understands that and is attentive enough to do it. Um, and I appreciate that very much. The, um, in this period of time, we've been very lucky to see our family of people uh, grow. We've had children and lost parents and the whole gamut of uh, emotional experiences. And um, it's been really important to me that uh, coming here every week or every 10 days or whatever to have this um, living orchestral experience to, to play the music that I sit <clears throat> locked up in a room uh, 12 to 14 hours a day creating um, come to life uh, with your benefit. It's also very special to be able to have producers of a show who appreciate the value of music and a live orchestra enough to um, give us this luxury of having 40 to 50 musicians every week. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my good friend um, and uh, executive producer of our show, I think he just got promoted, uh, Peter Lauritsen is in here, so if you'd say thanks to him for uh, seven years of having a real, a real band. It would have been very easy for them to say, look, we're gonna do a new series, so let's just go in the, in the closet and do it electronically or whatever, but knowing the value of what live music can bring to the show and give it the longevity that it does is extremely important. And um, uh, you know that from being here. It's, it's a rarity in the TV medium that we can have this um, experience. It's also been great to be able to have fun. Deep Space Nine has been probably much less restrictive in its uh, format. I've been able to uh, uh, do James Bond movies within here and uh, do Las Vegas and do rock and roll and just about every kind of musical style that could possibly exist in the framework of, of course, having something to do with uh, this amazing storyline that, that we've carried out. I wish that we had one really big dramatic medley or something to play. Unfortunately, we have like an eight second uh, playoff, which is, you know, really sucks, but what can I say? Um, but to be able to have producers who probably the least thing they'll say is, you know, Jay, I really hate those trills and the strings. Could you take them out? Or, uh, or could we have a little softer start? Um, rarely has it been um, subjective enough that we've had to totally reconstruct a cue. You watch on this one and we'll say, yeah. Jay, I really hate that cue. <laughs> um, so we will still have life beyond uh, Deep Space Nine. Um, Star Trek Voyager will probably continue for uh, several seasons. And there is some talk of, of another, yet another space epic uh, coming up. So um, for all those who have been a part of this, I thank you very much. It's been a family for me, and um, so thanks. Let's play this uh, thing. So with all that, you know, uh, maybe we could just make up something much better than this uh, eight seconds. You know? um, but I didn't come prepared with a medley of stuff or anything like that. So, um, and that wouldn't be fair to use the time, you know, for uh, my pal Dennis, who showed me how to get into this and the big finish of. Uh, of Deep Space Nine is really for him. He has the theme and will do an amazing job and I hope they get the film finished in time for him to score it. Um, uh, so that I'm sure many of you will participate uh, on that as well. So uh, please be sure to thank him also. And if you think about it, thank the producers when they, when they come by because it's really important and they do understand what the value of this is about because it, it does give us uh, eternal, well maybe not eternal, but at least 30 years of uh, a, a franchise history, so uh, it's 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 great. So thank you, and let's yeah. play this uh, this piece. Okay, watch. Peter's gonna say, "Jay, hey, I'm sorry, man. The cues look terrible." <laughs> All right, here we go. I know you're gonna probably play something really stupid. Now. <laughs> 